Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you the top Windows key keyboard shortcuts that you can use. I've decided to do videos separate about the different key, key combinations because there's a lot of shortcuts. Uh, today we're going to show you the ones with the Windows key. Now one thing I need to mention before somebody mentions it on the channel, uh, it's true that I'm not going to show all the shortcuts with this because there are some Windows key shortcuts that I've already done videos separately. And there's also some uh, keyboard shortcuts that I'll show when I actually explain the uh, functionality that goes with that keyboard shortcut. So using the Windows key, there's a good number of keyboard shortcuts actually you can use. And a lot of them can be very useful if you get used to learning them uh, you know what, your computer experience is going to be great and you're actually going to be able to um, even work faster on your computer. First one is Windows key plus A brings up the action center. So you hold the Windows key, you just tap the letter A and the action center is there on the right side of your screen, pops up very, very fast. So um, it's really useful because sometimes it has messages here. I got my Twitter messages. I've got even one message from security and maintenance that says I can disable apps to improve performance. So uh, it's interesting to, uh, you know, see that. The second one is Windows key plus C, which will open Cortana. Now it doesn't work here because my computer, I've set it up, my main computer is set up as Canada. Uh, the reason I came back to Canada, by the way, is because I use uh, Groove Music and I could not have my Groove Music password right when my computer was in US because my account was Canada, my computer was US, and Groove Music was all mixed up and it didn't work well. So uh, Windows key plus C brings up Cortana and she's waiting for you to actually ask whatever you want. So uh, just a quick way to bring up Cortana without having to click, for example, on the microphone on the screen. Windows key plus D shows or hides the desktop. So if I hold the Windows key, I press D, I'm on the desktop, I can do whatever I want on the desktop, open a file, click on something, whatever I want to do. Maybe it's something I, you know, I want to read. Maybe there's a document on the screen that I need to access because uh, I'm working on something that has a relation to it, whatever, open the browser, whatever. And if I hold the Windows key and do uh, letter D again, it brings me back to the app or program I was using before. So it's really nice for that. Windows key plus E opens File Explorer. So I just, you know, Windows key and E, and here it goes. I've got my File Explorer open. I can do whatever I want. I can go into my different... Uh, folders, whatever I want to uh, go to. Windows key plus H opens the share charm. The share charm is that bar that is like in the charms bar in Windows 8, but it only has a share function. So let's say, for example, I go to a mail app and I go into my accounts and I click uh, an account, whatever. I want to share something from one of my accounts uh, by actually using that shortcut, which is uh, Windows key plus H. So I hold the Windows key and press H. I have the share functionality on the right side. So I can share uh, through mail, OneNote, Twitter, whatever I want to share, an email, a picture, works everywhere. Uh, just Windows key plus H for share. Then you have Windows key and plus I, which opens the settings. So if you hold the Windows key, just tap Hi. Here is the Windows settings. That's not the control panel. Uh, don't mix, mix things up. It's really the settings panel in Windows uh, 10. So uh, that's another very easy way to go there. Windows key plus I. Windows key plus L, lock PC or change accounts. I won't do it here because it's going to bring me out of my um, screen recorder. But if uh, you press the Windows key, you know, all the Windows key and press L, 
your PC is going to be locked. So it means that you're going to go back to that screen where you need to enter a password, for example. It's also going to uh, enable you to go into another account if you want. But it's a very quick way to go to the lock screen. So if you have a password, you know that you know, you've gone to the lock screen, nobody can enter your computer and view your stuff. Windows key plus S opens the search. So if you hold the Windows key, S, here it goes, search on the left side. You just type whatever you want to search for in the computer, in a setting or a file or whatever you want to search for. It's here uh, in the search. So Windows key plus S for search. Windows key plus comma, peek at the desktop. Now you're going to say, oh, but you showed that a little earlier with Windows key plus D. No, that's not the same thing. Windows key plus D gave you access to the desktop. You could open files, you could do whatever you want. Windows key plus comma just gives you a peek. It doesn't give you the access to the desktop. It could be useful if on the desktop there's something you wanted to see. Say you wanted to name a file and you don't remember if you already gave a file the same name or what version or, you know, there's all sorts of things that can be useful with this. So you hold the Windows key, you press the comma. But the difference is that here you see that desktop as long as you hold the Windows key. If you release it, pop, you're back at your app or program that you were using. So it's pretty cool for that. And finally, Windows key plus enter opens the narrator. Narrator is that voice that can read the screen. And it's useful, you know, if you, uh, by the way, I will be doing a um, video on this uh, because it's a very cool feature for people that are disabled, have problem reading the screen or, you know, even the blind that cannot read at all. Um, what you can do is the narrator will read for you whatever you will show it. So it's a very nice feature. So Windows key plus enter will open the narrator and it's a very very nice little feature so these are the windows key shortcuts that i've chosen to be useful that uh, you might want to use so um, if you're on windows 8 some of them work by the way but uh, these are a lot of these are actually um, really specific to windows 10 so uh, check them out these are the Windows key keyboard shortcuts, the top ones that you should know and use to um, you know, simply make your computer access faster and uh, make you more productive. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when your videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos, helps us on the ratings. Also, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, why not ask? If maybe you have a problem, why not ask? We'll try to help you if we can. And hopefully you enjoy your videos and follow us. It's always fun to have you uh, guys and girls out there watching my videos and giving me great comments.